So hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. Well, tangerines are in season or clementines as some people call it. But right now, like if you go to the supermarket, you just find tangerines and clementines like everywhere around. And I just told myself, why do you have to discard these beautiful things? You don't just have to eat the fruit and discard the zest. So what I'm going to show us today is how to use this beautiful tangerine zest to make the most beautiful black chocolate cake. Yes, you're going to use that. You don't have to discard that. You don't have to discard this uh, after you finish watching this video. This smells divine. Get your things ready. Let's start baking. So give it up for our camera woman, our videographer. She's amazing. She's the one that takes most of the shots. So she's going to help us do this video so that I don't have to be holding and pausing and doing so we can save time. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do this. I have everything all set out. I have our flour, the buttermilk, I have some neutral oil, eggs, sugar, cocoa powder, some baking soda, our vanilla extract, the tangerines that we peel, this we're going to um, crush with some sugar, and then I also have some spices some ground um, allspice and um, ground cinnamon some ground cloves and some ginger okay guys so let's start baking into my blender i'll add the tangerine zest we'll add our sugar Just half of it. tangerine back into the rest of the sugar so we have the uh, tangerine and sugar and the other sugar which I'll then pour into our mixing bowl. This is the easiest cake to make because it's just like, just dump one thing after the other. So we're going to start with the wet ingredients. I'll then add in my eggs at this time. the buttermilk and then I'll whisk this to, this three together mm, smells so good the next thing will be to add our oil You can use any neutral oil of your choice. Then I add in some vanilla extract. Stir again. I'll just put in a pinch of salt stir this together then using my sieve I'll pour in our cocoa powder 
pouring on cocoa powder. Tap this. And also pouring your self-raising flour. Start mixing this gently. Then we're also adding our baking soda. Finally, we'll then start adding our spices. I'll just put a sprinkle of allspice, a little bit of ground cinnamon, just add a little bit of everything. I'll add a little bit of ground cloves also. And finally, some ground ginger. Then, since our batter is quite thick, I'll then add in some hot water. This is to loosen this batter. Gently mix this. Mix. Mix. Just for it to loosen. For us to pour this into our pan. Start pouring this into our prepared pan. And this is the ideal cake because you don't need a mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you don't have to worry. We'll then gently pour this into our prepared pan. So guys, we have poured our chocolate uh, cake batter into the pan and now this is the time for us to bake this in the oven and see you! Hi sweetie people! So, after a few minutes, like some 20 minutes, 25 minutes, this cake cooked quite fast and the cake is ready. So I'll be bringing this out of the oven for us to see how the end result is. Da -da -da. See what we have right here. Yay! It's ready. So what I'll do then is to allow this to chill or to cool a little bit, not like the one I did the last time. I was so impatient and the thing got stuck in the pot. So just five minutes before we unpan this beautiful cake. I'm so excited. I can't just wait to show you this cake. Oh my god! This is -da -da -da. this is beautiful, right? Yeah. We have our tangerine chocolate cake and it is amazing. It was very easy to make. It was just like dumping everything. So chocolate cakes are always so easy and always super delicious. Less ingredients and you don't have to worry so much about mixing. Because you could see this recipe we didn't mix at all. We just used our balloon whisk and just mixed everything. So we didn't need so much noise in the kitchen today. So you see the beauty we have. The cake looks amazing and we use some um, tangerines here just for people to know what we have inside as well as some uh, zest and this looks beautiful. So who's ready to cut inside this cake? So now let's do the big reveal again. Oh wow. Oh my. Okay, 
going to give a bit to that. So you see the cake and when you touch it, this is all moist. This is super moist. This looks so good. You can see the perfect crumbs. So guys, we have our cake. And this is super yummy. You can see how this cake is. You can see the crumb right here. This is pure perfection. And then you can also see the pieces of our tangerine inside. I also cut some tangerine to garnish to garnish the cake so they can know what you have inside so without even telling anybody just look at the cake okay these are tangerines of course so they should have tangerine inside the cake and when we cut this cake right here you see how moist this cake is when you cut it like oh my god like see see that you can beat that this is super moist This is black chocolate. Black chocolate tangerine cake. Super easy, super delicious. So I invite you to try this recipe. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Share this video with other cake lovers and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care then. See you. Bye.